Hey everybody, <clears throat> Ziggy71963. Um, just doing a little stacking video. Um, having some fun with this. Also having some fun with my daughter going through coins and finding coins and stuff. So anyway, I um, made a couple of pickups. One was from um, <clears throat> eBay. Uh, actually, maybe all these, actually, with the exception of one, I think these are all from eBay. Um, and since this price of silver has been coming down a little bit, it's been getting a little bit more economical to buy some of this stuff. So I, I needed some quarters. I didn't have very many 90% quarters. So I bought this. It was from um, Coin Exchange. It was on eBay, <clears throat> like a daily special. So I got a whole row, t roll $10 worth of. Uh, Washington quarters and actually most of them are in pretty good shape there's a few in there that are uh, kind of smooth like this one this 1945 but most of them are you know 1945 1943 a lot of 64s and 61 62s but I um, thought it was a pretty good pickup and I don't have a lot of junk and I needed more so I picked those up also somebody was uh, selling on eBay just some odd lots of things so I picked up just a half um, Franklin half 1952 yeah, it actually is a pretty nice little coin um, and let's see 1954 quarter and my eyes are not very good it looks like 1935 quarter and then, there's no way I'm going to read that date. Anyway, 1959 maybe. And then this little one. And I can't read that. So maybe you can read it in the camera. So anyway, I picked those up. And then a little collection of just 1964, 90% dimes. And every one of these. 1964 in this lot so and they're actually in pretty good shape I mean they're not bad most of them have scars on them and 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 everything some of them have dirt on them but I think they turned out pretty good and like I say I just wanted to add some junk of different denominations so I have a kind of a varied amount of silver in my collection and, and since I'm just starting out, I mean, I went through all my other silver the other day and kind of separated out what I had from when I was younger and what I had added. Um, had somebody who had um, given some silver not too long ago, and I was given an opportunity a couple of years ago to purchase some of it. So anyway, I added those. And then uh, my daughter was looking the other day and with me. And she really liked the looks of these. These are the Queen's Beast. These are two ounces of silver. Kind of a little rough finish behind the, por the uh, silhouette portrait. And then on this side, a really impressive looking dragon there. So, and I can't remember, I think I got this, these, when silver started drop, dropping, Provident had these, and they had a really good price on them, it seems like it was more in the neighborhood of like $43 or something like that, I can't remember the exact amount that I paid, maybe if I'm good here I can reach it, uh, yeah, they were $43.19 a piece, so I picked up a few of these, and then of course silver continued down, so I've got another grouping of these coming and they were a whole lot less they were a little bit under forty dollars so and I'm hoping to add some of the others the Griffin and whatever came before that because um, I really like the look at of them so I'm just kind of getting into this it's kind of fun these are really thick hefty coins so anyway place your faith in God and let him guide your life and um, stack a little silver along the way and enjoy the, the history of it. So thanks for watching.